Hey y'all, if there's one thing that drives me crazy, it's a blank wall. It's so drab and boring. So today what we're gonna do is we're going to use command hooks to make a gallery wall. And why am I using command hooks specifically? Well, they didn't pay me, that's for sure. My house was built in 1888, so the walls are made of plaster. So believe me, I've tried to screw them, to nail them. You can hear the bits breaking in, in between the walls. It's not a good thing. So I'm going to attempt to do the wall with nothing but these command hooks. Please cross your fingers, cross your paws, and pray for me. I hope they work. What I love about gallery walls is that they don't necessarily have to have a theme or a rhyme or a reason to them as long as everything's placed all nicely. So I guess they do need a rhyme and a reason, but they don't necessarily have to have a theme, right? You just have to hang them well. But my gallery wall is gonna have a theme and that theme is home. That's Louisiana. I am originally from Baton Rouge, but my soul is from New Orleans, as I say. And we're going to be using some artwork made by yours truly. That's me, brookhoover.com slash art. Or artwork from, and not or, and, and artwork from my friend Allison Dugas Behan. And her Instagram handle is art by Allie Nola. She does some great stuff. So check it out. We're gonna hop on the floor. I don't really like to pre-plan a lot of things when I do home improvement or artwork, but for the gallery wall, you do need to pre-plan. Don't move your couch or your furniture out of the way because that's gonna kind of give you an idea. And in my case, it's the couch. All right, let's start pre-planning. Okay guys, so we are going to attempt doing the command hook hanging. Now, I have used these kind of hooks, literally the hooks before. And obviously you want the correct weight for the product that you're hanging. So these hang up to 0.5 pounds. That will not hold big Louis Jean. Um, I think it's Louis the 14th, I don't know. I like this guy at TJ Maxx on a bottom. So we're gonna use a bigger boy hook for him. Basically what you do with these is you just meet the command branding to the back of the hook and then this black and white side, it says wall side, mur side, en français, and you just are gonna stick it up like that, right, with the tab facing down. But the picture framing commands are new to me. They come like this, right? Different sizes, different lengths hold different pounds, weights. I suggest attaching them together, okay? And then four basically, her picture frame and one side's gonna go to the picture one side's gonna go to the wall if you have any hardware behind the picture that sticks out a lot take that bad boy off because obviously it won't work so I always say the command hooks and obviously the picture framing things are a real test in your common sense um, it is a little bit like rocket science but it's also not so what they advise doing obviously don't hang it up right after you've painted a wall. Don't clean your wall and then hang it up. Get those bad boys stuck on there, the commands, and leave this part on there because we'll peel it off towards the end. And you're gonna wanna do this obviously with all of them. This size is the smallest size, okay, the smallest length. This holds up to four pounds. This thing, it's artwork by Allison, art by Ali Nola, that's my dog, Annie. Um, it's definitely not four pounds, it's probably not even at like 0.5 pounds, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Normally I would say let's start with the middle and work your way out. We're still gonna do that, but because of this bad boy lamp right here, I do think we need to start with this side and then go from the middle out. Now these two prints are made by an artist named Will Smith. Not to be confused with Will Smith, you know what I mean, the actor. And my friend Matt gave them to me. And they do recommend one, two, three, four. I ran out of command hooks, and this is a lot lighter than the recommended weight for this, which is like, for this medium size, I believe it's eight pounds. This is not even a pound. So, push it, hold it. 
Right. Looks pretty good. Let's keep going. I have to give a shout out to one of my favorite artists ever, George Rodrigue. I first was introduced to George Rodrigue because my mom and my dad had some Cajun prints of his in our dining room. But my favorite work of his is his blue dog. That's Tiffany. How's it look, Mom? Yep. Oh, just a hair. Yep. Center? Yep. Flush? Yep. Hold it for 30 seconds with this one. This is a little lanyap. It is some crawfish, well I think they're lobster swizzle sticks, vintage stirs that I got at an antique store in Clifton, New Jersey. Clinton, New Jersey, sorry, Clinton, New Jersey at the Rivertown Film Festival. But I call them crawfish, not crayfish. I'm and it's a, some beach glass from the Hudson River, but I made it Louisiana styles and I'm gonna, just gonna kind of shove it a little bit. But that's a very good hold, guys. Command hook, I'm liking y'all a lot. Guys, I ran out of command hooks. And honestly, a little thumbtack never hurt anybody. I still try to be pretty gentle with this because again, we're dealing with plaster walls, but this is like a push pin. I messed up and I didn't get any command hooks that could work well with plates and I love to hang a good old plate on a nice plate hanger. Um, so this is something I've used before. It's like a very sharp picture hanger. Boo! The sharper the better when you are hanging anything, especially in a plaster wall. All right, y'all, this guy, Louis, he must weigh three pounds. This command hook can hold three pounds, but our dogs like to sit on the couch. It's not worth the risk, you know? I should have gotten a heavier command hook. Yep, not gonna work. So we are going to use the heavy duty picture hanger similar to what we use for the other plates. This is a perfect case scenario where a command hook would have saved the day. My fault for not getting a heavier one because this bad boy ain't gonna be easy. So here's these crazy little wooden things. They're from the 70s. My mom made this for her high school graduation and my dad's sister, Aunt Natalie, who's up in heaven, she made this for my dad's graduation from law school at LSU. So I thought these were pretty cool. Um, normally I'm not a big fan of like wood and stuff like this, but they're vintage and they're my mom and my dad who are from Louisiana, so represent. And now the pièce de résistance. A Nutria tooth. Listen y'all, I grew up around a ton of people who had deer heads and stuffed animals on the walls and not like cute stuffed Care Bears, but like dead animals that they hunted for sport. I don't condone hunting for sport, but if you need to eat and you're eating the meat, using the whole animal, the animal had a great life, by all means go for it. I found this at an oddities fair around the corner from me in Jersey City and Nutria are very plentiful in Louisiana and I just thought it was ironic and I love this guy and his little orange tooth and y'all FYI I think it's a little common sense but in case you aren't aware with the command hooks their beauty is this to get it off you would just pull this down not this way but down and you would rearrange it if you want to rearrange, if you're moving. I don't want to do any of that. I want to put up this Nutria tooth and we are done. Voila! And there you have it. The gallery wall, Louisiana style. 
Thanks a lot to Command Hook. I would say 75% of everything we used was with Command Hook. But there you go, guys. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. If you like it, click like, share, all that jazz, all that good stuff. There will always be more home improvement and fun videos. Check it out at brookhoover.com backslash lanyap.